everybody and happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadians. Um, I thought I would just break up the iCAD a little bit and share a gel printing video with you. Somebody had asked me on um, one of my videos if I could do some prints using a 5x7 plate. So that is what I'm doing here. So I have my 5x7 and I took out some of my favorite golden fluid paint colors. And right now on the plate I have Payne's Gray and I took one of their texture combs and just drew some lines on there. And I cut about, I don't know how many cards I cut. Um, uh, maybe eight or so. And for the paper, I'm using Recollections cardstock from Michaels. Honestly, it's my favorite paper to use when gel printing. I like it. It's thick, but it's not like super duper thick like um, Bristol or watercolor paper. And there's no texture. It's smooth. So, I don't know. I like it. But if you want to use your gel prints for collage and stuff, I just use regular printer paper, nothing fancy. So now I'm going in with, I feel like it's nickel easel yellow. Let's see if I'm going to show the bottle. Oops. <laughs> It's Indian Yellow Hue. And when I started this gel printing, like I didn't have anything planned. The only thing I did was just pick out some colors. After, like other than that, I had no idea where I was going with it. I had no techniques plan, nothing. I just decided to play. And I'm working with a dirty gel plate. Like I never clean my gel plates unless I'm doing a technique that requires a, a clean plate. Because I love the grunge. I'm happiest when my prints look grungy. So now I'm going in with some quinacridone magenta. This is one of my most used colors. in golden and in liquitex in all things <laughs> i just tend to use this color a lot and i would never think of it as a favorite color or anything this is just a handmade stencil it's a piece of construction paper that is it and the more you use it the more paint builds up on it and it just becomes even more sturdy See, I love that. So the whole idea with this is the cards I'm using, I cut them four by six so hopefully I just knocked out like at least the backgrounds for a whole bunch of eye cats and then if I'm having a hard time catching up or I don't have a lot of time that day I can just grab one of these backgrounds and add a little something to it and call it done I mean, some of these I just love as is. It looks like a little mini abstract piece of art. Sorry if you heard that little bit of banging. That's my cat wanting in. <laughs> and now you may hear him meowing.
I love that. Love it. That's the kind of gel printing that makes me happy. So I'm going in with that Indian yellow, yellow hue again. And this is another handmade stencil. Actually, no. This one I cut with my silhouette. But I did design it in the silhouette software. I just made an oval and cut them in half and separated them. Simple as that. See, sometimes I find you get better results with a gel print if you don't try to cover the whole entire piece of paper right away. Like sometimes it's just nice getting little bits here and there and then adding to it bit by bit. Because then you get to look at the piece of paper and think, okay, what do I want? Do I want more yellow? Do I want more magenta? And do I want a shape? Do I want more coverage? I mean, look at that grunge. Like, I couldn't have done that if I tried. That's just luck as far as I'm concerned. That was just paint that was left on my brayer and on my gel plate because I don't clean. And I love it. camera went blurry. Sorry about that. I don't know why it did that. So if you're doing iCAD and you're struggling with catching up, grab your gel plate and just make a bunch of backgrounds. It is so easy like to get beautiful backgrounds and just have a bunch ready to go. Then all you have to do is add a quote, add an image, and some of them turn it so nice that you don't have to do anything to them at all. Now these are some homemade foam stamps. I do have a video on making homemade foam stamps. I'll try to remember to link it below. <laughs> if not, if I forget, it's in my gel printing um, playlist. You will find it in there. So I didn't get great coverage on that one first, so I add more paint to my gel plate and apply it a little thicker. I think the foam must really soak up the paint. Although you would think there's so many layers of paint already on it that it wouldn't. And that's a baron that I'm using to push down on it. Oh, and that color, by the way, is bright aqua green. Actually, no, it's not. In Liquitex Basics paint, it's called Bright Aqua Green. In Golden Paints, it's called Teal. Just to confuse you. <laughs> That's just some more homemade stamps. I 
I just grabbed a big piece of paper because all my 4x6 cards already had enough stuff on them, but I really wanted to pull the print. And I love this one if I remember correctly. Or maybe it's the next one. No. I love that. Not getting all of it come up and it being distressed looking and grungy. It's Oh, it just gets me so excited. I love it. Love it. And it's my favorite color on top of that. So this piece here is like heaven to me. I love that. Just as is. I guess that's my happy fingers, I guess. <laughs> in with some more magenta I think at some point I used the green and I didn't tell you what color it was it's green gold so I do feel like I, I used it I didn't want the harsh edge on the magenta so I just take some bubble wrap and just smush the edges a little so it's not so much of a jagged like a straight harsh line And just a little tip, like when your paint is dry on your gel plate, like there I had a mixture of wet and dry paint on it. When you brayer it, um, the dry paint will pull up onto your brayer. Okay, this is the green gold that I was talking about. I kind of regret adding the green to that one. I think I liked it better when it was just the teal and magenta. I'm grabbing another full sheet just to pull up what's left on the gel plate because I couldn't just leave it there. I had to get it. And look at all that grungy goodness. Ugh. See how the edges look thicker? That, when you pull that, it's like it looks crusty, like it's thick on the paper. Like it's, oh, it's, <laughs> it's really good. I like it. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with the prints and I'm putting my gel plate away and notice I am not cleaning it. There's still small traces of paint left on it. But it's not so much that it's like caked on. I, I don't leave caked on paint, usually. <laughs> and these are the fabulous prints that I got. Love it. That one's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just love the grunge. That's not so bad. The big ones. That one is my absolute favorite. <laughs> and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed some gel printing for a change. And I will be back with more iCADs. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.